it's time to settle a score. Now, if I've noticed there's one thing on the internet that triggers people, it's mayonnaise. Now, a lot of people have their favorites, but if you ever actually tried them head to head to see what's actually the best, that's what we're gonna do today. So let's get started. In the center, best foods. This is what I grew up with. Better known as Hellman's on the east side of the Rockies. I'm from the west coast. I grew up eating best foods. Next up, Duke's. Very popular on the east coast, the midwest. This gets rave reviews and I've never actually tried it. Finally, the Kewpie Mail. Straight from Japan, popular in sushi joints, and I've been told it's the best of all three. Let's try them out. So I'm gonna start by taking a little taste of each of them, but that's not it. We're also gonna see how it spreads. Put it on the bread, I got a little piece of tomato, and we're making sandwiches. And of course, I got a little chicken salad. This is just chicken and celery. We're gonna mix it with some of the mayonnaise and see how it turns out for being a mix. So we're gonna taste it straight, we're gonna spread it on some bread, and we're gonna mix it in some salad. Let's get started. First up, best foods. And we're just gonna give that a little taste. That's gonna set the basis for this whole contest because I already know what best food tastes like. I eat it all the time. Next up, Duke's. Squish a little bit on the tip there. Mm. Right off the bat, I'm gonna say, almost the same flavor, very similar, way more creamy. That's actually pretty good. Now for the Kewpie mayo. Okay. Wow, totally different. Maybe a lot more eggy. Almost tastes like a hard boiled egg, very yolky. Tastes like it's already got some mustard mixed in it. That's completely different from the first two. Let's go ahead and try some of these other things and see how this all works out. We're gonna start by making some sandwiches. We'll get the Dukes on this one. Best foods in the center here. And the Kewpie mayo over here on the end. And I pre-cut a little bit of tomato. Now I'm gonna start with the best foods in the center here because that's the one I'm familiar with. So I wanna base everything else off of this. So here we go. Take a little bite. Now I have no complaints. This is what I'm used to. It's a typical mayonnaise. It tastes like mayonnaise, it's not overdone. It does tend to get a little on the salty side. Let's see how the others hold up. Next, we're gonna try the Dukes. It's already, the whole sandwich is squishing around. I can tell it's just so much creamier. Mm. A little bit smoother, not as salty, nice and smooth. That really is not a bad mayonnaise. And lastly, but not least, the Kewpie mayo. Let's give it a shot. I'm gonna say, this one clearly tastes different than the others. And this is in between on the creaminess. The Dukes is gonna win out on the creamy, I think, at this point. Best Foods is a real firm, solid mayonnaise. And the Kewpie is right in the middle there. Let's try our chicken salad. Now I got three little bowls here, chicken salad. They're all the same, about two tablespoons of chicken salad. It's basically just chopped up chicken, a little bit of salt and pepper, and some celery. And we're gonna try to get the same amount in each one. We're gonna do probably about a half a tablespoon of this mayonnaise. Let's put some in there. And when we're gonna start it, we'll mix up that Dukes. We'll do about a half a tablespoon. Best foods, and we'll get that one mixed up. And it's time for the Kewpie mayo. Once again, about a half a tablespoon. Let's mix it up. So we're not just gonna eat this plain. I got some little Tostito rounds, and we're gonna actually load these up, use these as our vessel. So we'll start with the Dukes, get a nice layer of that salad right on top there. We're gonna go ahead and give that a shot. Real smooth, creamy, it makes a nice mixture for the salad. Let's try our best foods. Well, for the salad, I like that one a little bit better because the salt level's a little bit higher. It gives it a little bit more flavor. Let's try the Kewpie mayo. Okay, here we go, Kewpie. 
Mm. Wow. I'm going to have to say the QB may take the win on the spread here because it has a lot more flavor. It has a lot more egginess to it. it. Like I said before, it almost tastes like there's mustard in there. I know there isn't, but it has this like amazing flavor. If I were to have to put these in order, you may not like me for this decision, but I feel they're already in order. Guys, number one today, I'm going with Duke's. Number two, I'm going to have to go with the best foods. And number three, just because it's so different than what I'm used to, I'm putting QP Mayo as number three. There you have it. Duke's Best Foods, known as Hellman's East Side of the Rockies, and the QP. That's your one, two, three, and that's it for me. Thanks for watching. What a treat, guys. Cheers.